Hello everybody, it's Larry here at Forelco. Uh, we, we rebuild uh, instrument clusters, climate control modules, things like that. You can find more info on our website, forelco.com. Uh, today I'm working on an 05 Silverado. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to remove your instrument cluster from the vehicle if you want to send it in to us for repair. Um, this is basically the same procedure for the anywhere really from 99 on up to 06 and the 07 classic clusters with a few minor differences. Uh, the 99 to 02, the plug on the instrument clusters on the top instead of the back. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same procedure. Uh, and that includes the Silverados, the Yukons, the Tahoes, the Suburban. Um, all the full-size SUVs and, and pickup trucks from those years for GM. So it's pretty simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is push your parking brake because you're going to be putting it into first gear and you don't want to roll away. So put your foot on the brake, turn the key one notch and drop the shifter all the way down to first so it's out of your way and tilt the steering wheel all the way down so everything's out of your way. Uh, and then this trim panel comes off all the way across your radio and everything comes off quite easily actually. Uh, you just don't be afraid to pull, it's all spring clips so it's pretty easy to get off. Just start right here, pull back and the whole thing starts to come right off. And you just work your way around and then you kind of have to squish it to get it out of here and lift it out. Uh, typically your hazards will turn on as you pull it out so just push the button and shut it off again. Uh, now I've removed the screws from the cluster already just to make this video faster, but there's four 7mm screws. You're going to want to get a 7mm wrench and just pull those four out of there on the cluster, one on each corner, uh, and then the cluster just lifts out like this. Be careful it's still plugged in. Reach around the back and I'll show you this plug when I get it out. You're going to pinch the plug together and pull it out. And then the cluster slides right out. It's really that easy. So you can see where the plug goes in here. And this is the plug here. While you're pinching in the back, you're squeezing these two together. Uh, and then it should pull out of there. Some of them are a little tough, squeeze really hard and wiggle and wiggle. It should just come out of there uh, most of the time. It's really that easy. And then you can send it in. We'll rebuild the whole thing for you. Put LED lights in, whatever it is that you want to order on the website. Uh, and then putting it back in is really reverse. Very simple. Slide your cluster in like that. Reach around. Get that plug lined up and push it in. Now you hear it snap, but push again. Just to be sure. Sometimes they click twice. Just to make sure it's plugged in all the way. Set it right into place, line it up on the alignment pegs on the bottom so you can see the screw holes. Put the four seven millimeter screws back in to hold the cluster in place. Take your trim panel and just slide it in behind the shifter and everything else. And you'll have to push this down a little and push it in. Turn your hazard off again. Make sure this hole and this pin and this spring clip are lined up and then you can just push it in place all the way around. Right there, just like that. And it really is that simple. Um, so go ahead and you can look on our website if you have questions or you can contact us there. You can call us, um, comment on this video below and we'll get back to you as well. So, uh, but thanks a lot. Uh, I hope that helps.